good evening all welcome to our channel bull run trading yesterday we discussed on chapter 1 today we will discuss chapter 2 on fundamentals and uh, basics of beginners for trading so first we will start with the uh, index index means consist of uh, sensex nifty and bank nifty so sensex means having 30 stocks like uh, axis bank airtel reliance india limited and itc indian tobacco and uh, tcs you know tata communications and hdfc and sbi etc having 30 members in sensex that is called sensex and nifty nifty means having 50 members like icica and tpc wipro etc having 50 members consist of nifty 50 it's called nifty 50 and then bank nifty around uh, having 12 members like bsu banks idfc rbl kotak punjab national banks and fed banks and icic bank etc is called bank nifty right now index having three types of index so this is called index and uh, next uh, indian incidents is having consist of so many types of nifties like uh, nifty 50 nifty next 50 nifty 100 in small cap etc some 10 more nifty is also there it's called indian indices so is are having some bunch of stocks B- bunch of stocks means companies consist in 50 members consist of next 50 members based on their capital market capital capitalization it is decided under it's maybe nifty 50 nifty next 50 whatever so nifty 100 also there 500 also there 200 also there small cap also there mid cap also there so this is called nifty 50 we can't go through in depth because we have to learn in faster so uh, next uh, sectoral indicators uh in that having nifty auto and nifty it by sector wise it is decided divided into sector wise like uh, auto it public sector and pharma fmcg means fast moving consumer goods like and other than metal related metal reality media energy and inf- whatever etc etc blah 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 so you are having sectoral indices and next uh, we have to know some keywords in market okay for that i just uh, get some uh, some keywords regularly using in uh, discussion in further discussion for us we need to know some keywords in market most of the person using this keywords with the keywords we can easy to know further discussions and for the chapters the first one is top gainers top gainers means the day trading having the high gaining the particular stock having that particular day stock had traded uh, on the top it is called gainers and top losers is losers automatically you will know losing losing money losing market capitals whatever so next uh, active uh, active by value value means independent value increase in a day that is called active by value and active by volume trading quantity and exchange ratio this is called active by value and 52 weeks high i reached there 52 weeks high price that particular day and next 52 weeks low reached that 
week's low price like uh, uh, you can say earlier it was 50 rupees now it is trading 52 weeks to 2 rupees 3 rupees whatever that is called low and high we will see later and then uh, only buyers there was no sellers in particular day it's called only buyers only sellers means only sellers found in a day trading and there was no buyers that means having stock and fluctuation and some bad news and some uh, loss making company and uh, uh, you can say operators also game on going on in that particular stock is called only sellers and only buyers okay the next okay next portfolio portfolio means the particular demat account having stocks in their account that is called portfolio you have to build a portfolio with minimum sector wise you have to choose different different sectors each sectors having more than 5% restricted you can buy but it has to be restricted and a wealth portfolio is the good portfolio and you have to choose 5% in a particular sector not more than that you have to choose the stocks and best stocks in particular sector and next technical particular star related to chart summary and analysis that is called technical analysis and next resistance and support yesterday we discussed on resistance and support resistance means top level of taking some resistance bottom support in particular chart we will go through later what is resistance what is support next moving average moving average means some moving average are calculated on chart level we will see on charts also in further chapters next corporate actions corporate actions some of the word only corporate actions means you can uh, say uh, management taking some decisions uh, they uh, project their results in coming days in coming days they are doing some uh, activities and uh, they're selling their share shares in open market whatever they are doing some activities is called corporate actions next dividends dividend means in particular stock if uh, in the result having the uh, profits in that particular profit they will they will give a dividend dividend means part of profit they are they are sharing into the market each and every shareholders will get the dividends like uh, 0.1% into the 0.2% uh, whatever dividends also two types dividend means cash dividend and share dividend some of the shares giving 1 plus 1 means if if you, of course if you have one stock in particular stock you will get one more stock bolo to Uh, that means 1 plus 1 you will get two stocks that is dividend and cash dividend two types we will discuss and splits split means stocks having uh, much price having 50000 80000 90000 like that we cannot uh, buy like that 80 90000 we cannot invest up to that level the uh, the company will decide to split their price come up to 2000 from 60000 70000 then it come down then traders will act that is called split shares and agm agm means annual general meeting every year they are doing last time last month having reliance agm they project their results and peer comparison peer comparison means a particular stock compare with the related sectors in other stocks to the other stocks like uh, banks banks means kotak bank we we'll compare with hdfc icici like that 
प्राइवेट सेक्टर्स यू टेक फॉर ऑफ कोर्स एनर्जी एनर्जी मींस टाटा एनर्जी एंड आदानी ग्रीन व्हाट आर एनर्जी स्ट्राइक दैट विल कंपेयर विद दैट पर्टिकुलर सेक्टर शेयर होल्डिंग शेयर होल्डिंग मींस व्हाट एवर हैविंग शेयर्स इन ओपन मार्केट इन एफ आई promoters and other investors having how many percentages they have that is called share holding then upper circuit and lower circuit this is a very difficult word upper circuit means most of the stocks operating by the operators like uh, some upper side and lower side having some resistance restrictions sorry restrictions decided by the nsc and bsc national stock exchange and bombay stock exchange and uh, sebi it will restricted in such a manner upper circuit and lower circuit it will decided by sebi only okay we will show you later and then value value means stock trading value would uh, refer to their refer to the number of shares of security trading between the daily open and closing that is called value fis already foreign investors dis and domestic domestic institutional investors right then share pledge share pledge means uh, share pledge, pledging of shares if you having if promoters having 50% they pledge their shares and get some money from banks and outside finance sectors and then they will get a um, some investments into the company will take and personally some of the companies using personal some of the company using their improvement in uh, business next mutual mutual funds mutual funds in small small investments if uh, mutual funds means briefly you can say we invested with a third party they will buy the stocks in open market if they get the profit will share you if they get loss they also share with you that is called mutual funds very nominal profit a nominal investment nominal increasing your portfolio levels and then commodity commodity means uh, oils gas gold silver whatever is called commodity and then sip systematic investment plan is under mutual funds only fine then ipo and qpo ipo and qpo means uh, some of the companies are not listed in the open market Uh, means uh, nsc and bsc not listed company they are going to make a ipo and qpo qpo means uh, qualified public offer and uh, ipo means initial public offer initial company will start with ipo only last year is called as ipo year only ipo year is called as ipo year. most of the ipos come on 2020 okay and margins margin means if you have in uh, if you have some amount in your uh, demat account the particular broker will give you some margins 1% 2% whatever some of the brokers are giving 10% also okay that is called margin you can trade with the margin you have to give back if you loss you have to bear if you get the uh, profit you can get it that is called margin some uh, charges also additionally charges will be applicable bid quantity and asking price bid quantity is buying price asking quantity is selling price bid means is buyer asking price with sellers bid means if you buy a stock asking price persons will give you stock that is called bid and ask price as uh, here bearish and bullish bearish means in trading particular trading bear bear and bull 
will will uh, uh, pull the stocks bear will put the levels of the stocks that is called bear and bulls and uh, neutral neutral means flat flat rating penny stock next penny stock penny stock means in us market penny stock means 1 dollar under which are stocks are trading is called a penny stock india also same 10 rupees under 10 rupees under stocks which are going to take into the portfolio or trading into the under uh, 10 rupees it indian penny stocks i will show you in le- next chapter and uh, uh, what do you call dow jones industry this is us uh, market like indian sensex like in us also having dow jones dow jones industrial and sx nifty is a indian part of nifty which is in singapore market nasdaq is also us made us market it's under us market only okay next uh, we will have some time type of normal trading types so in today we will get some knowledge in trading and next chapter i will give you a uh, fundamentals already you will discuss and types of uh, trading also also we discussed types of uh, sensex also we discussed some keywords also discussed we can review and uh, play back mm, then we we will discuss on types of tradings trading day trading day trading means intraday some of the brokers are giving uh, intraday margins more margin more margin i'm giving intraday margin you can trade 10% you can trade 20% more than your uh, what do you called uh, net worth based two types of intraday margin will give you one type against your share share holding against your portfolio money okay uh, 10 times 20 times they are giving right now and futures is also protections in future if particular stock you can predict future market how much will be there options options also two types call and put you can predict one particular stock will increase up to that level that is called call you can predict and another one you can predict a particular stock will come under some some levels that is called put level call levels and put levels call and put that is called call means upper put means bottom levels you have to, you can also take such kind of protections protections right most of the uh, like uh, traders prefer and delivery only delivery means very safe you can trade very safely i will suggest only delivery is preferable it's very safety highly highly safety okay i will show you in next next coming chapter currency commodity already discussed and sip so these are the basics in some some kind of uh, uh, knowledge some kind of uh, types of keywords i discussed today so i hope you doing well we will start trading in coming days in next chapter on today and uh, tomorrow i will give you some kind of uh, uh, conclusions and from day after tomorrow we will start uh, fundamentals and uh, small small stocks we will start uh, share holdings whatever share holdings having some kind of uh, you can pick the stocks will start trading so be prepared some i need your support i need your comments i need your likes please subscribe and share to others to subscribe my channel so need your support please kindly do the subscribe click on subscribe button and click on bell icon thank you all